APAM has introduced a new case type into the oral exam called the structured interview, or SI for short. The SI is different than standard cases. There's no role playing. Instead, the structured interview approaches patient cases with a systematic interview. Each candidate will receive five standard cases and two SI cases during their exam. The structured interview cases will be interspersed with the standard cases. At the beginning of your case, the examiner will inform you when you are starting a structured interview. The goal is to assess a candidate's thought process and ability to optimize healthcare outcomes by synthesizing available information, identifying data that would guide management and diagnosis, and communicating critical information to patients and others across the healthcare spectrum. How is the structured interview case built? The case is broken into sections, which vary, but often include history, physical exam, differential diagnosis, diagnostic studies, treatments, diagnosis, disposition, and transitions of care. Every candidate will be provided with the same information as they progress through each stage of the case. This means that some information could be given without a candidate's request and some requested information might not be given. How will the case play out? The examiner will ask the candidate for specific data that they would want to hone their differential and management plan. For example, the patient we'll be discussing presents with syncope. After reading the admitting form, please give me a complete list of all of the historical information you would want to ask. Note that while many cases will progress through the management of an individual patient, SI cases will be diverse and may include the management of multiple patients or other types of scenarios that are pertinent to the practice of emergency medicine. Candidates are assessed on whether they identify critical actions that would narrow the differential and or risk stratify. For instance, in a patient with syncope, the critical actions for the history may include specific historical features that modify the likelihood of an arrhythmogenic cause, such as a family history of sudden cardiac death. For the physical exam, the critical actions may include findings that increase the risk for a structural cause for their event, such as a specific type of murmur. Candidates may also be asked to explain why a specific finding is important. For example, Doctor, you asked whether the patient had a murmur. How would this be important? The key point is that these cases are meant to assess a candidate's ability to synthesize available information and to recognize key information that would help guide management of a scenario. So how can you prepare for the structured interviews? The number one thing that you can do is to learn to be an active listener so you listen to the prompts and answer the questions that are being asked. The case is not very different than the clinical discussions that residents and attendings have every day. Having a broad understanding of the clinical scenarios encountered in the ED and being able to articulate how to work through the scenario is the best way to excel on the structured interview.